This is WCPO 9 News. Thanks for joining us for WCPO 9 News. I'm Adrian Whitset. Here's a look at some of today's top stories. Community action plan that changed policing in Cincinnati celebrates its 20th anniversary. The collaborative agreement was an alliance created between activists, city officials and the police department. It came after a class action lawsuit that alleged discrimination and excessive force by Cincinnati police. They're holding an open house today. If you would like to learn more about that agreement and its implementation, they're also planning a seminar and community celebration for later this year. Groups concerned about the youth violence in Covington are meeting today, hopefully to come up with a solution. It comes after that shooting where three kids were shot after a large fight. The meeting is being hosted by the local NAACP chapter. They're trying to focus on strategies and techniques for stopping the trend before it gets worse. This is at six tonight at the Northern Kentucky Community Action Commission office. Also tonight, the Blue Ash City Council will vote on whether or not to open a Dora in Summit Park. City staff said it would help their Alive After Five plan for this area. The district would cover 120 acres roughly. It'd be open from 10 in the morning to midnight daily. If approved, it would open in June, just in time for the summer season. And downtown Cincinnati Starbucks workers are moving toward a union. Employees at the 401 Vine Street location filed for a union representation election with the National Labor Relations Board. This is the first Starbucks in Cincinnati to make this move, but about 200 stores across the country are currently working to unionize. Brandon? Well, we've seen some colder temperatures out there this morning and a shower or two early, but that continues to push out through the remainder of your day today. Expect plenty of sunshine for your afternoon. High temperatures into the low 60s. Skies will stay clear. We will stay breezy right now for those high temperatures. 62 today, 68 tomorrow with showers late in the day and overnight into early parts of Saturday. The weekend dry but cool.